beauty of your feelings and say the words. Come on. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. <laughs> okay, group, we have some newcomers here today with us. Say hello to Scott and his father, Mr. Avil? Evil, actually. Dr. Evil. Hello, Dr. Evil. Hello, Scott. Hello, Scott. Hello, everybody. So, Scott, why don't we start with you? What brings you here with us today? Well, I just really met my dad for the first time five days ago. I was partially frozen his whole life. That is beautiful that you can admit to that. He comes back, and, and now he wants me to take over the family business. But, Scott, who's going to take over the world when I die? Listen to the words he used. Who's going to take over the world when I die? Feels like that to some of us sometimes, doesn't it? So, what do you want to do, Scott? I don't know. I was thinking I like animals. Maybe I'd be a vet. An evil vet? No. Maybe like work in a petting zoo. An evil petting zoo? You always do that! I just think like he hates me. I really think he wants to kill me. Now, Scott, we don't want to kill each other in here. We might say that we do sometimes, but we, we really don't. <laughs> Actually, the boy's quite astute. I really am trying to kill him, but so far, unsuccessfully, he's quite wily like his old man. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, well, we've heard from you, Scott. Now, uh, you, tell us a little about yourself. The details of my life are quite inconsequential. Oh, no, please, please. Let, let's hear about your childhood. Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, please. Very well. Where do I begin? My father was a relentlessly self-improving boulangerie owner from Belgium with low-grade narcolepsy and a penchant for buggery. My mother was a 15-year-old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. My father would womanize, he would drink, he would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Sometimes he would accuse chestnuts of being lazy, the sort of general malaise that only the genius possess and the insane lament. My childhood was typical. Summers in Rangoon, luge lessons. In the spring, we'd make meat helmets. When I was insolent, I was placed in a burlap bag and beaten with reeds. Pretty standard, really. At the age of 12, I received my first scribe. At the age of 14, as a roastery named Vilma, ritualistically shaved my testicles. There really is nothing like a shorn scrotum. It's breathtaking. I suggest you try it. You know, we have to stop. 